Hey y'all, uh, this this video you're about to watch is a customer of mine. She's a repeat customer. Um, her system's old, you know, 10, 10 years. It's got to be 10 years old, but it's got a wind turbine. And uh, we really went for it way back then. Two battery systems. They're both 48 volt systems. They're, I don't know why she didn't do grid tied systems. I, I kind of feel like somebody sold her. Uh, some battery systems when they should have sold her grid tie system. So I go out here and it seems like every time I go out she's got a laundry list of electrical and other miscellaneous things she needs done. So good customer and uh, just show you a little bit about her old Xantrex trace system with sharp ND208 modules and a wind turbine that didn't have a blade type one time. And she says it flew off and scared the fool out of everybody around. So here we have a older Trace Xantrex battery system. Uh, it's selling to the grid. The way you get into the menu on these is you scroll up to uh, menu 9. And if you hit both these buttons, it'll take you into the advanced menus. And if you just go all the way back past down below menu 9 while it ends the user menu. You can get in and set these things up. You can still download the manuals off the internet. Um, the interconnection stuff is pretty sim pretty much the same as old school. These are the old Outback load centers. It's got a 48 volt uh, battery. It's 8 volt batteries. She's making 149 watts right now into this FM Let me get it. 60. I need to put it on. Yeah, no, it, no, you don't have to do that. It, it, it's gonna wait five minutes and then it's gonna connect I back to the grid. Right, maybe I make it do it right away. Oh, okay. No, you. If you wait five minutes, it'll, it'll, it'll connect back to the grid. But you just turned the power back on because I redid that outlet, and that's why it's making you wait. And when that light, that light will stop blinking in five minutes, and it'll go solid, and it'll start okay, selling and then the grid. The green will be blinking. Yes, ma'am. All right. Yes, ma'am. Should I leave it on automatic? Uh, that's just a generator uh, transfer switch. You don't even have to mess with it because you're not controlling your generator with uh, that. Okay. So it's got the, you can't really see it too well, but it's got a uh, meter. So you can see what she's making or selling. And a couple of disconnects. That is the charge regulator and dump load for the wind turbine out there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. So what was happening is the it's it's been cold here, and so the battery temperatures the battery temperature compensation it's charging those batteries kind of high when it goes into charge at night, and um, the system was set up to have a few hours at night to charge the batteries in case it didn't get full, and it was charging them up to the set point of this dump load, and this thing was coming on. Sucking the power off the batteries, and the charge controller was, or the charger was thinking that there was a load on the batteries, and it was giving it more power, and it was causing it to trip the 30 amp breaker, the input breaker of the, this number eight wires on. So we put the 40 amp breaker in. This is the other system she has. It's just a pre-wired outback. I think this is a 24 volt, ain't it? No, it's a 48 volt too. Two 48 volt systems. Yes. So, nice little, nice little battery systems, but these are just being used in a grid tie application. You can see that the output breakers are just off. So now you can hear those relays clicking, and it's starting to sell some power to the grid. You got past that five minute waiting period, and watch the old cool analog meter spin rather slowly, but spinning nonetheless. And there she goes. Uh -huh. Okay. So here's that solar array I'm taking you over to. So it's a beautiful farm. Um, it's a nice little horse farm. And this system has got to be 10 or 12 years old. Yeah, I don't know. It's got Unirac out back. Old school collectors, pressure treated mounts. 
I mean, it lasted. I can say that it lasted. What kind of panel she has? I'm trying to look. I can see she's got one, two, three. She's got about 4KW. A little less than 4KW, probably. She has sharp ND208. 208 watt modules. Goodness gracious. So she's got, look at that. I wonder what that is. E. Anyway, I'm not fixing this because it's working. Each, each one of those solar arrays is making like 800 watts. I'm trying to get her talked into letting me just connect up each one of these uh, arrays and just send it back grid tie style which would be a whole lot better so anyway wanted to show you this system real quick and I don't know maybe this would be called old school solar or what not to do pressure treated solar get her done solar I'm Johnny Valentine with Gain Solar. Just taking you along on my service calls throughout the North Georgia area. Appreciate you watching my videos. It kind of helps me pass the time and gives me something to think about and show people stuff. Maybe it'll help somebody someday. Well, good gracious, I can finally let it out after getting in the truck. Whoever it is out there, I know you're probably sipping on margaritas on the beach somewhere, just drinking up on that all that money you charge this poor woman. But you ought to be ashamed of yourself. No right. You got no right to go around selling crazy to complicated battery systems to old ladies that don't understand them. Nor do you have any right, any right, to come in here 10 years later and slap in a brand new battery. You oughtn't to put a Sunny Boy SMA 2500, one of them little red inverters. You oughtn't to done anything, son. You ought to have pleaded with her. And you're going to be in trouble when it all comes down and things get sorted out and the wheat gets separated from the chaff and the hay and the stubble get burned up. You're going to be in there, son, because you're going around doing jack leg solar work and installing old complicated systems on old ladies' houses that don't need them. You ought never have put that wind turbine in there with that dump load. You ought never have done that. So if you're out there and you're following this channel and you're still out there installing jack leg solar like this, I'm coming for you, buddy. This is a message to the installer who done this. I'm coming for you. Well, I've had a chance to calm down a little bit. You know, realize that maybe he just made some mistakes or it was, he was off that day, but end of the day I just want you to know I'm coming for you buddy you better buck you better hammer your nails in your door and you better buy the door bud because I'm coming I'm coming for you you ought not be doing that jack leg solo I'm gonna I'm gonna fix your wagon real good buddy Buster Brown I'm coming for you